actually a submergent, um, or can be a submergent. It actually prefers to grow in the mud like this. Actually, many of your submergents do. This is Ludwigii palustris, and um, oh, it doesn't have the good characteristic, which would be a red stem and then the red underside of the, the leaves. Um, I'll find some other ones that do, but yeah, that's got a good red stem, but it doesn't have the good underside that oftentimes um, people really like this for their fish tank because of that good red color. The red color comes from a high light intensity. Um, so I'm not sure why this isn't red, it should be. But um, I think the red is also when it's a little bit in the water, whereas this has been dried up for quite a while. But, but this makes the point that a lot of your submergents actually prefer the, the mud over being underwater. Okay, so, and then since it's right here, there's cute little Sagittarius coming up. Um, and for that matter, the grass here, I can tell, because it cut, cuts me, uh, so that's Lyrzia. All right, um, this shrub is not very good and it's dead because it's been too wet this year. But see the little cones on it? That's gonna be an ulnus. Ulnus has little cones like a little birch has little cones. And I'll show some pictures on Blackboard to, to help. And I think we see it at one other place. But ulnus is the, the dominant shrub as we go north in wetlands. So I, I really want you to know it because it's the dominant wetland shrub just kind of north of here. So all the UP, but just north of here, you know, so Traverse City area and all that stuff, um, really anywhere north of here is going to be almost exclusively ulnus, whereas south of here you'd have more Salix, Cornus, and Cephalanthus. As you go north, it's going to be all ulnus. I'll show some, some good pictures online because it's, it's not happy, it's too wet for it. Um, right here we've also got the elderberry, uh, Sambucus, and again, opposite leaves, oddly pinnate, but it looks more shrub-like. It's also got really big lenticels, and it's also got, um, again, the, the serration is just different and they're longer and skinnier than the ash, uh, Fraxinus. But otherwise, they're both woody, opposite leaves, oddly pinnate. Okay, so good, um, good all, uh, sorry, same buckets. 